About five years after the Galactic Empire collapsed, a group of raiders on the planet Sorgan managed to get their hands on an Imperial All-Terrain Scout Transport, or ATST Walker. They used this machine to loot the supplies and harvest of a nearby fishing village. Desperate and with no other options, that village hired the services of a Mandalorian bounty hunter and a former shock trooper who fought for the Alliance to restore the Republic named Cara Dune. When the two mercenaries learn they'll be going up against an ATST, they advise the villagers to instead flee their homes, and Cara Dune describes their chances of taking on an ATST as hopeless and says this. I've seen that thing take out entire companies of soldiers in a matter of minutes. Now that line has stuck with me because thinking about what she's saying for more than a few seconds, it kind of seems like she doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. I'm not saying Imperial ATSTs aren't dangerous, but it's right there in the name. These are scout walkers, meant to perform reconnaissance and find targets for their larger and better armed cousins. But according to Kara, she's seen them kill off entire companies in just a few minutes. Alright, so what is a company? Well, assuming the Rebel Alliance uses the same terminology as modern day armies, a company is a military unit formed around three to six platoons. Each platoon has about two or more squads, and each squad has around a dozen soldiers, give or take. So all in all, a company would consist of between 80 and about 250 soldiers. And Cara Dune says companies, plural, so she could be talking about 500 to 1,000 soldiers. Having seen footage of ATSTs in action on Endor and elsewhere, I don't know, I don't buy it. It kind of seems like she meant to say squad, but then got those terms confused. Or I guess she could have been lying or exaggerating to get those villagers to leave their homes, but it didn't really seem necessary. This claim annoyed me so much that I devoted the entire processing power of the Templin Institute over 450 megahertz to figuring out some way that it could make sense. The only thing I've come up with is that maybe an ATST shot down a transport, or an ATST was outfitted with a bunch of artillery and blasted a rebel company to hell. But if that's the case, then what Cara Dune really witnessed was the Rebel Alliance being particularly unlucky and not the fearsome combat power of an ATST. So by now you might be asking, what's my point here? What am I trying to say by nitpicking this one line of dialogue? Uh, I don't know. I guess my point might be that terms like division, brigade, regiment, battalion, platoon, etc. These all actually mean something, so if you're gonna use them, you should make sure you're using them correctly. Or maybe my point is that there's nothing a YouTube channel won't complain about. In any case, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Was Cara Dune's assessment correct? Can an ATST take out entire companies in just a few minutes? Do you think it's a waste of our Institute's resources to investigate these minor lines of dialogue? If the latter, you have my apologies, because this was far from the only line of dialogue I had a problem with, and I intend to pursue this subject with maximum initiative. But I look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments below.